Guys, the chicken is here bringing you another boomage video. In today's video, guys, uh, a little disheartened to say that we made a couple mistakes, and I'm going to talk about those and what you guys could do to not make the same ones. Um, but first, if you haven't already started to use the code chicken in the shop, guys, we're doing the next giveaway in about eight weeks. So you got lots of time to get your screenshots in. And also, don't forget, guys, get the hottest Warships merch in the game. That's going to be official chicken merch in the description of every video. I mean, if you don't want, like, a bright colored sweater with a chicken on it and i don't know what to tell you but here we go guys so the two biggest mistakes that i've made right now and that's number one getting building damage and number two getting shock blaster everyone else has seemed to have saved keys and just gone straight for the next engine room now i think this is more of one of those things where it's a problem right now might not be a problem in the future but um <clears throat> yeah Obviously, with zero keys and I need 90 left, that leaves us, like, two full days. Um, 10, 23, maybe even three full days stuck at four engines. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going to get dicey. It's it's not going to be... Um, it's going to be a while before we have some more effective tech. But hopefully in the meantime, what we can do, what I have noticed, is a lot of people that have jumped to 5ER don't have a lot of defenses they're kind of weak any five engine base that i've gone against i've probably done it four or five times i've beat every single one of them um and most of those guys were pretty rushed and they were pretty easy to just spread out f uh free clear with the melon bombers and uh and, and destroy them that simply so don't know why that what the matchmaking issue is here what's going on <clears throat> there we go there we go 20 minutes later Try to bring that camera into focus. Focus. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So this guy's got four ERs. We're going to do the standard. Um, just like this. Now, what I have found that helps, whoops, is not what I did here, is to get um, is to get your troops out very, very quickly. It can save you a couple seconds, and that's really like, you know, all these matches are coming down to just a handful of seconds here and there. Um, <clears throat> so I would say use two boats, of cr two buckets of critters at the, at the most. Um, if you go above and beyond that, you're kind of just wasting GBE that you could be using battle orders on. Um, so that's what I'm going to focus on here, is just using battle orders and getting our troops to where we want them. Um, and right now, we're, we are able to flare. So let's go like this. And we're going to use battle orders here. Brick is going to go down, so now I can... It's, now it's not a big deal to, uh, to use some other GBE. Uh, okay, we got melon bombers coming in the back. And, <clears throat> yeah, in terms of, you know, GBE, we just want to shock stuff that's going to... Did we fizzle out? Yo, why does this keep happening when I start videos? I haven't fizzled all day. The only time I fizzled out was in the video yesterday. That's the only time this season. And now the recording's frozen. Come on, man. Give Chicken a break. Jesus. All right, I'll try to reboot it and see if that works. Okay. So that didn't count because the recording froze, right? That's uh, that's what we call that. Uh, now I'm worried that's going to keep doing that. <clears throat> regardless, regardless. It's going to get grindy. It's going to get grindy. I, I was at uh, about 20 and a half yesterday. And then this morning, it's today's been like nothing but losses. It's, it just really hasn't gone well. Now, I see what a lot of... Uh, I'll show you what some guys are doing um, and having some success with. But uh, for now... <clears throat> hmm. You know what? We'll try it. So a lot of some guys are going like this, and uh, just using critters to take down the ERs. Uh, you need about three buckets of critters, I would say, or um, higher level shocks, because it does get pretty expensive, as you can see right here. <laughs> I think we might be able to do it because these flamethrowers are so close together, but it's gonna be very very close. All right, I think we got it. So we're going to go ahead and use battle orders. Now we're going to run up this way. Let's go, Brick. Let's go, Melons. Come on, dudes. Run, 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 run. And let's go like this. I'll let them take out a couple things here because we need them to. Uh, there we go. And then we should be good to go from there. I don't know if we need to shock anything. I'll just throw a shock down there in this boom cannon. And you see, we didn't even get that much better of a time, but... 
That's kind of the other way, is to drop all on the right, use critters to take out one, or simply just drop all on the right and free clear from there. That's basically your only options with what we got. All right, there we go. There we go. So we're turning things around. Turning things around. What is going on, man? Jesus. <clears throat> I've never fizzled out. I haven't had my recording crash in, like, I don't even know how long. And I've never seen the app just crash like that. So three firsts. Three firsts in one video. Um... Let's see what he did on defense there. I want to see if the shock blaster. I'm 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 not sure exactly where I want the shock blaster placement just yet, but uh, I think it's okay there. I put it here for a couple of reasons. Mainly, uh, I didn't want to put it up top because some people can just avoid um, that area completely. Um, I wanted to put it in the middle where it was definitely going to kill some heavies, especially on this right side where people typically drop less troops. Um, I felt like it would really kind of expose those melon bombers, which it, it looked like it actually did there. So. Shout out to the Shock Blaster. Did some work on that one. Um, but yeah, it just depends. Just depends. And I mean, if it slows them down, obviously it's not going to stop them, right? If it slows them down, it's doing its job. That's all we want it to do. So let's try this again. All right. So this looks pretty standard. Now, the difference here is this guy has two flamethrowers covering this engine room. So we can't use critters up on the top. Um, but I think what we will do... Hmm. I think what we will do is actually no, that's not gonna work. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's just try this. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the usual drop here, guys. We're gonna go one heavy, two melons, and then a heavy, heavy melon, 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 brick. Battle orders. Let's take out these. Uh, could have been earlier with those critters to retarget that mortar. Uh, but we might be okay. Come on, guys. Take out that mortar. There we go. Uh, what? How did he take us down that quickly? <laughs> okay, now I'm scared. I can use one shock here on this stuff. Mainly on the boom cannon. Uh, there we go. Okay, we need Brick to get one more battle orders before she dies on us. And let's go like this. Okay, we'll shock here. Now what I should have done instead of shocking there, I should have uh, I should have used critters on those shock mines. We might clear one. We won't clear both of them. But I think we saved a couple mel melons from stepping on it. Ah, three two. That's not a great time. Let's see what this guy did though, because he it seemed like uh, I guess I scouted for a little bit, eh? Yeah. Well, let's see what he did here. So he's going... He just went all from the top. 4, 8. He just free, free cleared right from the top. Ah, he used critters on the bottom. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what we need to do. We're going to space out our... Um, the machine gun actually has more range. So let's do this. Let's put the flamethrower there. Now let's move the machine gun... Like, way down there. So then they can't shock it in one go. I'll move the mortar back here so it's still in range too. Um, and then that kind of makes that a little bit harder to critter. This stuff you can all hit with one. The reason I moved this down here is because um, I was getting dropped, full dropped a lot on the right side. So I moved, um, this flamethrower was here. I moved it to the other side so it's less of like an anchor point for the melon bombers. Um, but you know what? Let's do something else instead. Let's, let's swap it out with a machine gun. Let's swap it out with a machine gun. Come on. Um, and move him back a little bit more so he's out of uh, shock range, but still able to provide a little bit of help for the critters. Um, and I don't like that flamethrower there. I think what we'll do is let's swap this flamethrower with this machine gun over here. There. I think now we're a little bit more well-rounded, a little bit more protected. So we'll see if these changes can help us, but... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it has not been easy today, guys. It's not been it's been rough sailing, that's for sure. Um, let's go one, one, two, the standard, one, two, three, brick. Nice early battle orders. Nice early set of critters there. Take out those two shock mines. Maybe get some other mines in the in the mix. Um, now I, try, I always try to time the battle orders when your troops are moving versus uh, shooting. You'll get a lot more uh, benefit out of it that way. 
All right, so I'm going to go for one more Battle Horse here. Now I'm going to start clearing um, this area with Critters. I think we got to have enough Bombers on the right, even if they all die. The splash damage from the Melon should take that ER. So we're going to go like this. And let's go Battle Orders now. We cleared most of the Shock Mines out of the way. So this is pretty well gone as well as we could have, have hoped for. Other than that Flare. That was nice. I tried to shock the machine gun, but that's going to cost us a few seconds. Uh, oof. We'll see what happens. Three minutes and three seconds. Again, not a great time, but uh, let's see what's going on over here. So he's going critters under battlers. Interesting. Eight, seven, six. That reflare could cost us five, four, three. Oh, man. <laughs> that reflare cost us. Because I think we finished three, three, right? <sighs> well... Uh, I'm happy with the draw at this point, but, uh, but yeah, so I mean, the next plan is just save up keys for five ERs, that's what, uh, that's what we want to do to stay in the mix. The good news is, I think by the time we go to five, we'll probably have a little bit more tools than some other guys, uh, that are already there, so, just hang out at four for now, try to get to, you know, if we see any openings, try to get to diamond, but, uh, if not, you know, the difference between keys and the diamond chest, I think it's only 17 keys, so. It's not like it's a crazy, crazy amount, but uh, we obviously want to get there as quickly as possible. So that's the plan for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you took something away. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, check it out. Bear, bear.